Almost one year ago, a majority of the justices in this building handed down the landmark Dobbs decision. It overturned decades of federal protection of abortion access in most cases. Today, protesters back in the streets right in front of the Supreme Court, this time calling on the justices and their colleagues on the federal bench across the country to preserve access to the abortion pill. Taking away medication that can provide safe abortions will not stop abortions. It will only make people seek out unsafe abortions. The march of well over 100 began in front of the Supreme Court and processed around the Capitol building. Vanessa Borg came from Loudoun County to participate. We all have the right to our own destiny and abortion care is health care. And sometimes it really is a matter of life or death, but sometimes it's also just a matter of like, you need to do what's right for you in your life. And I want my daughter to have full control over her own destiny as well. A recent lower federal court's ruling could tighten, but not eliminate access to the abortion medication mifepristone. What brought me out was to defend abortion and to defend this medication abortion. Late Friday, the Supreme Court intervened, putting a temporary hold on the Fifth Circuit's decision until 11:59 Wednesday night. Today's rally in front of the Supreme Court was one of many happening all across the country today, loosely organized by the pro-abortion access group, the Women's March. At the Supreme Court, Zach Merchant, WUSA 9.